Hi YouTube, how's it going? I guess you can't quite see me at the minute, but I'm excited. And I'm excited because a parcel has just arrived. I've been to my neighbors to collect it. And this is a parcel uh, from China. And it's from ZWO. Uh, and it's something I've been waiting for for quite a while. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, stay tuned and you'll see what's inside. Let's do this. Oh, do ASIA Pro. So, as you can tell, this video is the unboxing of the ASIA Pro. Cheers. Apologies for the lack of content recently. I've uh, just been busy with real life. Uh, I've got a little baby and stuff, so it takes priority. That said, hopefully we've got a nice little video for you here today, uh, just to make up for my uh, lack of appearance. And it's basically a product that's been sent to me very kindly. Thank you, ZDBO, for giving me one of the first ever uh, items of this. And that is the new ASI Air Pro. Really excited. So stay tuned, I'm gonna have a look in the box, see what it comes with, I've no idea, I've not opened it yet, and then we'll compare it with the original, and the see how it compares with weight, dimensions, and then we'll go on to hopefully later this week with the functionality. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what we've got. This is the box for the new ASI Air Pro. Uh, with the QR code on the front for the software, and that's about it on the box. You can see the good example of how it can be mounted on the front there and then this compares in size wise to the original it's a fairly bigger box hopefully an indication of uh, more goodies inside so let's take a peek okay so firstly obviously clearly you can see the Case, the body, the actual Air Pro itself um, is made from aluminium, um, CNC machined with uh, a very sticky out and obvious dovetail mounting bracket with the Allen key bolts through the middle to uh, fit it or remove it. Uh, Power leads, USB. We'll have a look closer at the case shortly. Then we've got user guide. Uh, very, very basic. Then we've got freebie. We've got a little uh, SanDisk 64 gig memory flash stick. So I'm presuming that's uh, to give additional uh, memory storage, onboard memory. I mean, one of the limiting factors with the original Air was because it was the the old Raspberry Pi, you were limited to the size of the SD card you could use. This one has a 30, 32 gig, 32? Yeah, it's got 32 on board, already installed with the software, plus the additional 64. Should give plenty of, uh, plenty of storage to, um, for your night's imaging. And then also you can then just take out your little USB flash drive, plug into your computer and download images rather than having to connect wirelessly to the air to then wirelessly download your images. A bunch of cables, we've got USB to R232 serial, uh, presumably for the guys with um, 
the mounts such as the I think the EQ6 and a few of the mounts have got the serial connector. Uh, whether that will replace the EQ mod cable or not, I don't know. To, uh, I presume, I presume it will. Um, then we've got. I'm hoping one, two, three, three, four, uh, two point one uh, male to male uh, DC power leads. We've got an extension as well, uh, male to female again, two point one DC, and then we've got the USB three uh, control leads. That's going. That's to go from the camera to the to the air. And then finally, we've got the quality control certificate from ZWR. So first impressions, really nice. Uh, wasn't expecting the leads to all come with it. Um, so that's a nice surprise. Um, the serial cable may be a nice addition to some of you. It's worth noting what comes in the box to help uh, decide whether or not you want to buy the Air Pro or the Air itself and um, any additional cables you may need whilst you're also, uh, in the, you know, if you're ordering this and paying for shipping, you might as well pay for the, the same shipping on the Leeds. But it looks like you're not, it looks like everything you need is in one box. You're not gonna have to buy anything else. Uh, so really impressed with the accessories that it comes with. Uh, first impression, though, I can't, I can't see anything that's missing. Um, so the only thing that I might think may be missing compared to this, the competitor, which would be, the only, I mean, the, one of the benefits of this is the onboard power. Now, at the minute I use the original with a Pegasus Pocket Power Box, which has the uh, the power leads on. But then it also has a dew heater controls and a temperature sensor and things like that. But we'll have a look at this uh, in a bit more detail. So, a bit of a more close uh, look at the case for the Air Pro. You can see it's aluminium, anodized red. Uh, split case, there's absolutely no gap on the split, it's a really nice tight tolerance. Um, bolted in all four corners. And on the bottom we've got the dovetail, like I've said, with the Allen key bolts holding it in place. That's one mounting option, the other option is on this side, you've got the M4 and quarter inch, I believe, uh, threaded holes, giving you another mounting option. Um, another option may be Velcro, remove this, just Velcro it. Whether or not, it's a bit more weighted than the original, so whether Velcro would hold that weight, that will soon be something we can find out. Okay, so going around it, like I said, we've got those mounting arrangements there with the vented ports. So the dishwasher just finished, let me just turn the dishwasher off. Then we've got the Ethernet cable, and then we've got four USB ports there and nothing new there what is new one of the main features of the air pro is the power distribution so you can see you've got op options for the digital slr power and we've got four dc 12 volt ports there um, i'm led to believe as well that you can these two of these ports have got dc um, they've got they can support dew heater uh, control as well so Again, when we, when, we, when we give this a test, we'll be able to play around with the dew heater and see how that performs. And then on this side, we've got indications, power card, reset Wi-Fi, on off switch, DC 12 volt input. Interestingly, not with, with this one, it doesn't have the need for the, the additional transformer, like the original does, the five volt step down transformer. And then finally on board there in the slot, you can see it's got 32, gig uh, SanDisk micro SD card with the software on board and that's it really really nice uh, in terms of a comparison to the original size wise um, it's shorter uh, it's pretty much the same width and in terms of depth only slightly deeper so not much of a difference in the footprint there is a difference in the weight, uh, I can feel that, but then I mean, this is a cheap plastic case. This is a much more serious case. In terms of um, aesthetics, absolute no-brainer which one's best. And in terms of weight, let's have a look at the weight difference. 
Um, I think the original's 108 grams. The Pro coming at 243, 243 grams. So double, it's twice as heavy. Now that held okay with the Velcro. Whether this would with the Velcro, I'm not so sure, but then you've got two different mounting options there, um, which I'm sure everyone will be able to use. Failing that, cable ties, I guess. It's just nice that you've got these, these options to mount. So there you go, side by side. Now, if you've got the original, ZWO are very kindly offered to do a trade-in. So you can hand this back, and I think if you pay $199, well, that is in euros and British pounds, it's about £150, I think, um, you can upgrade to this. I know some of the UK stockists, 365 Astronomy, Rather Valley Optics, um, First Light, uh, FLO, they're all currently on their websites, so they've got a trading option. I think you buy this, once you receive it, ship them this, and they'll give you 100 quid back. 150 quid or whatever it is. So that's them compared side by side. So uh, there you go. That's the unboxing and everything you get in the box with the ASI Air Pro. Uh, super, super excited to get it used. Um, not that there's anything wrong with this product. This has been an amazing, amazing device. I absolutely love it. Um, there's just a few things that I would like to be able to do that you can't. Um, it's worth bearing in mind as well, the software is continually advancing. I mean, you look at how far this thing has come in the last year. The guys that said to be able to do an awesome job with feedback on their forums and then adding to the software capability. So hats off to the guys there for the, for the, the continued uh, development of the software. That said, um, I do believe this is a vast improvement. Is it worth the money? Time will tell. Um, we'll, I'm looking forward to testing it. Uh, some of its features, such as the up Meridian Flip, uh, will be very useful. If you've got the EA, EAF, the auto, fo auto focus functions coming with this. Uh, live stacking is one that I'm very, very much looking forward to. So um, stacking images live as you go along through your auto sequence. Uh, so you get a denoise, get enhanced data, and you better see uh, what sort of image you're capturing as you're going through your sequence. So live stacking will be really good. Um, and then the onboard power as well, I'm interested to see how that's going to, how that's going to work um, and whether or not I'll need to get rid of the Pegasus box, uh, whether it supports dew heaters and things like that. So it's interesting times ahead with all the testing that's going to come. I want to say thanks to uh, the guys at ZWO for sending me this. Much appreciated. I'm going to try and put it through its paces, try and find any bugs that are in there. So by the time it hits the guys in February, March and onwards, that uh, hopefully bug free for all the guys out there. Uh, what else? Thanks for all the support on the YouTube channel. Um, heartwarming to read some of the messages. It really, really honestly makes it worthwhile uh, doing these videos. It takes a lot of time out of my family life to do these. So when I see the messages and support, really, really means a lot. So hit subscribe guys. And then hopefully you'll get a notification for when my next video hopefully comes out soon. And I'll be putting this through the tests, getting it running. I'm going to do a complete installation video, how I've installed it, mounting it with dovetail. I'll try and see how it fits with the Velcro as well, because I know some guys still use Velcro. And then I'll run through uh, the entire setup. So installation, connection, uh, plate sole, polar line, sorry, um, auto sequence guiding, auto focus, live stacking the lot. So we'll, we'll give it a run through its paces and hopefully uh, it'll help you guys decide whether it's worth uh, making the upgrade. Now, the guys at ZWO have said very kindly they're doing the, the upgrade service as well, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to give you an informed decision as to whether you think it's worth paying a bit more, trading this in, and uh, getting, getting one of these. Stay tuned, guys. Again, thanks for support, and speak soon.